guys, let me give you the introduction to these typical mechanisms we're going to be studying. Because we've been talking about catalysts and catalysis, and probably you know or you don't know what we are especially talking about. So let me show you this. The overall reaction, probably you are familiar with this, is X plus Y will give you C. They don't give you conditions and catalysts. But the truth is, guys, that this is only achieved with a certain catalyst C. And probably you know that, you've seen it in organic chemistry or any kind of chemistry, X plus Y and the presence of this catalyst is going to give you C. But the truth is that it's a, a little bit longer path. Let's see it. Uh, reaction number one is essentially X is going to be contacted with the catalyst and they're going to, let's say, absorb, adsorb, be sure, add, not add. Then we will go and find Y and our, let's say, new group here. And this is going to be attached or adsorbed as well. So you have it here. And the cool thing is probably you think it's C is an atom or something, but probably it might be even a bed. So essentially X is here, Y is here. So they are pretty contact. So that might even occur a reaction. And when they react, they form C. So they go here and they are C right now, still attached to that catalyst. And since it is free now, it's a product, it may desorb, which is the contrary to adsorption. As you can see, it's adsorbed here and now it's free. The catalyst is free once again. Actually, if you go here, you will find out that you can start all over again and you have your product C, which is here. So let me just, well, before going into this, let me, if you were to add these guys, you will get this right here. Let's actually do it. Uh, C goes and cancel this C, XC with this XC, XYC, XYC, and C, 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 C. So essentially you get on the X plus Y plus C, X plus Y will give you C, which is exactly what we have right here. So let me give you a little bit example here. We have ethylene or polyethylene. No, it's actually a thing. And then you have hydrogen, let's say gas. So hydrogen goes here and splits into two hydrogen. Because that the bed helps it to spread. Probably you're going to say that hydrogen alone or by itself is not stable. That's true. But since they are adsorbed, let's say it's possible. And this guy here is going to also be adsorbed into this catalyst bed. Very important, this block right here is the catalyst and this is our reactant, reactant, reactant. They are absorbed and here is when they are reacting. They, the hydrogen gets and break that double bond and they go inside the molecule and they react. And finally, they are produced and not only that, they desorb. Remember, it's the contrary to absorption and it's free to go as they probably a gaseous phase. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.